What's poppin', y'all? This is Deidre with One Shot Game. You already know what time it is, and you know how the motto go. You get one shot at life, but a lifetime to learn all the game you need to improve your life on a day-to-day -day basis. I want to come on to this video and say thanks to everybody that supports me. You guys are a big influence on why I keep doing these videos. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe so we can get it into the algorithm and my videos could get more a uh, noticeable why stream video is gonna be on how the cell phone is the number one leading causing problem in relationships and their downfall i don't know what it is about people and their phones but at the end of the day it causes a lot of relationships to go south because of the dang phone now, my mom bought me my first phone when I was 14. So since then, I've been able to accommodate having a phone ever since that time in my life, right? So I got it in my first relationship when I was 16. Mind you, I'm still a kid. I don't know who I am. You could be in a serious relationship. You found somebody, you locked them down, they locked you down, y'all love each other or y'all think y'all love each other in the beginning, but y'all really, really like each other, right? But you get into arguments or you get into disputes or you get into situations where you're looking for attention from someone else other than the person that you with because they getting on your damn nerves, right? They're tripping, they're going off about something. So you go out somewhere with your friends or with your family or whatever. And next thing you know, you even got somebody's number because back then when i was growing up you exchanged numbers now it's nothing but a somebody call you on social media or whatever the case may be it's like numbers are almost non-existent because everybody just communicates through social media now me being young i had my fair share of bad social media press bad toxic phone situations and i can't blame anybody but myself at that time because i didn't know who i was i was still trying to find myself but i liked that this person that turned into love that i was in a relationship with but when things start getting rocky again and they start getting on your nerves and shit you start looking for attention from others people see your uh pics on social media they want to give you your give you their number this that and the third start talking to you and you somehow light the energy because it's not on no toxic bullshit that they own. But in reality, the people on social media is only acting like that because they don't even really know you. Once you get involved with them and, you know, start chit-chatting and have a conversation, that's a whole nother story. You get what I'm saying? So I fell victim to it every time because of the simple fact I had no clue on who I was. And it was a lot of... uh downfalls and negativity when it came to my freaking cell phone i've had cell phones thrown out of car windows in the middle of the street had to start all the way over i don't know what it is and why but my phone always got me in trouble i hated it period because for something or some reason everybody started amping up the social media contact and I would fall victim for it every time. Even though I was in a relationship and involved with someone, I could keep falling victim to social media. And being the fact that I fell victim to it, my first love to this day, don't do social media, don't get on social media. And I apologize for that. I take full accountability. I was young, you know what I'm saying? But now that I'm grown, I actually run my own social media business from my phone. So I need someone to be in a relationship with me to understand and know, look, this person works from their phone. So if there's any type of jealousy or animosity or anything coming from you because of that, it's going to be a big problem. I'm finally at a place in my life where I can have my phone off a of silent. I can have it next to me and you know it ring or whatever at night even though i be getting my sleep i don't talk to nobody in the middle of the night but i'm just saying both relationships i was in the the phone was such a big deal 
especially my second one. My first one, it was kind of like, you know, a rookie still. We wasn't really checking each other's phones, but then she was checking mine. You know what I'm saying? And whatever came with that came with it. But my second one, it was almost all the time. Let me see your password. Let me know what this is. Let me see your phone, this, that, and the third. And then people get so slick with it, they manage to delete and backtrack and do things, you know, that you will never know what they are doing because they're just so slick at it. You know what I'm saying? And it's not healthy. It's not good, especially if you're in a relationship. Please do not do that. But at the end of the day, I think it comes from the abandonment issues and the you feeding more attention into somebody else other than me. So I need to check your phone. I need to get in your phone at all times. But if you're confident and you're solid in who you are as a person, you will not be ashamed or guilty or feel bad if that person decides to cheat on you through their phone because it's their loss. At the end of the day, now that I'm older and I'm grown, I'm not... I, listen, that's a waste of time to be in your phone all the time. But listen, I am a little bit toxic. So if I want to check it from time to time just to see what type of shit you be on, I'm going to do it. But I'm not going to be the type of person that's just going to be constantly on your phone all the time. Especially if I know that you're doing something from your phone. And I'm a vibe all by myself. So if you cheat on me, that's on that's your loss, not mine. At the end of the day, you feel me? You're going to be the one losing out, not me. So really, I think it all boils down to healthy boundaries. You understanding who I am, what I do, and know that if you're secure and confident in yourself, that if I, if I decide to cheat on you, that's going to be my loss. If you decide to cheat on me, that's going to be your loss. But when you young, you don't really know that. You know what I'm saying? But I do have a other side, and I'm pretty sure everybody do. If I want to check it every six months or time to time when you're in the shower or, you know, doing your little vibe, I shouldn't see nothing in that motherfucker because I'm blocking. You feel me? I'm letting you know it's an issue, letting you know it's a problem because I'm a cancer, baby, and I want my person to be all about me. That means you shouldn't be entertaining nobody on social media, nobody in your text messages at all, period. It's a difference in working with people and doing your thing and working in a business where you have to interact with a lot of people. And it's a difference on flirting and taking it too far. People are really slick when it comes to that. You know what I'm saying? But now that I'm older, I'm able to understand that and be confident in myself. I'm not finna be toxic and we're not finna be fighting and doing all that. If I do see something in your phone, you feel me? I'm just gonna make you feel that that was the wrong move for you to think you gonna cheat on me and get away with it. You know what I'm saying? Listen, that phone is dangerous. But if you're in a relationship and you're committed to somebody and you really like them, expect your phone to get checked like every once in a blue moon. It shouldn't be on a, I got to check your phone all the time. You feel me? It shouldn't be like that. We're not in high school. We have grew up. We have evolved. We're older. And we should know that if I want to be with you, it's because I want to be with you. If you want to be with me, it's because you want to be with me. And I should be able to accommodate and make you feel like that special person to where there's no need for you to have to cheat, wander off, and, you know, do things that you don't have no business doing. Unless you just truly unhappy within yourself, then that's what you're going to do. You're going to get attention and validation from others, even though you're in a relationship. It's time to elevate and grow up. I'm the type of person that works from my phone. So at the end of the day, if we can't wake up and you tell me, you know, what you got going on and I can't tell you what type of business ideas I got going on because you think my phone and me being on it 24-7 is me cheating, we're not going to be together. Period. Point blank. That is not somebody I could be with because you got to go be with somebody that, you know what I'm saying, work somewhere where they don't have to use their electronic device and you can feel more confident. Me, on the other hand, is a very different experience. But as you grow and you become confident, this next relationship that I get in, 
I'm going to be all about them. They're going to be all about me. So you will know and feel secure and be confident and know, listen, I know she's not cheating. She runs a business. She's successful. She has to work from her phone. Let me be confident in myself to where I know, listen, she's good. She's solid. And I should make you feel confident enough to, if I go out or I go take a shower or I go cook dinner and I leave my phone around, you can have the password. You can go in it because you're not going to find nothing other than me doing what I do. Period, point blank. But it causes a lot of toxicity in relationships. This dang phone, I'm telling you, people be ready to fight. People be ready to get angry. People be ready to do the most when it comes to the phone. I'm telling you, growing up as a teenager in a serious relationship, I've had a lot of phones destroyed, mainly because I was just doing shit I had no business doing. And I'm old enough to take accountability for it now. But, I mean, what can I say? I was a teenager in a relationship early, still trying to figure out myself. I was bound to fuck up. I'm not perfect, still not perfect, but I'm at a point in my life to where I'm trying to be married to somebody. So you should feel confident enough to know and understand, look, I know she's not cheating on me. I know, you feel me? She's not interested in nobody else. And when you're in a serious relationship, when you get older, after you went through all the toxic bullshit you didn't went through, you're gonna let that person know that's who you rocking with. Some key advice my granny told me is, you're gonna be with someone, you're gonna rock with them through the pitfalls, the speed bumps, and you're gonna keep going. That's how you get that old granny rocking chair left. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to ride with someone through that. But now in my life, we went through all the toxic BS. We went through all the trials and tribulations of being toxic and learning life. So them things I shouldn't have to be worried about right now you know what i'm saying in life we should be able to know and understand hey i gotta be busy i gotta be over here i gotta be over there i gotta do this i gotta do that but at the end of the day you know it's you and at the end of the day that's what it all boils down to so therefore you won't have to worry about no toxicity when it comes to this cell phone because i'm telling you right now every relationship i have been in which has only been two from the time i was 16 until 32 has been toxic when it comes to the cell phone. But I'm telling you right now, the more you are confident in yourself and who you are, it will not bother you. And when you do decide to get toxic on the back end or the flip side, you feel me? You'll be able to let that person know, I'm only about you and about you. It can be very toxic to a relationship. Don't let it be toxic to yours. This is the DJ One Shot Gaming. If you don't know, I just told you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man.